right, so we'll go ahead and move forward. Um, although we do kind of need Ray for this first item. Um, so it's the Moortown Select Board. Um, got a couple people jumping in here. Let me grab them. Hey, Hadley. Hi. Um, so it is uh, Monday, May 17th, 2021. It is the Moortown Select Board. We are meeting uh, through Zoom once again. Um, and uh, let's see, it looks like we have, who's um, 9954, is that you, Don? Yep, here I am, Don Wessler. All right, so we've got, the um, one we're missing on the board right now is Ray, but I'm sure he'll pop in at some point, or I hope he does anyways. Um, so let's go ahead, first agenda item we have is general public comments, and I don't see anyone on that's new or different, but if they were on, on the board or Hadley, do you have any comments? No comments from me. John, Sasha, nobody. Hi. All right. So let's uh, go ahead. We have the first um, uh, agenda item, pardon me, uh, MOU, discussing finalizing the MOU. Now, I know uh, we talked about this a bit when Ray Daigle was on. Um, we were talking about getting him um, some documents uh, before they just uh, break in June as far as the MOU. Uh, I think current one as it's written, I think um, not a lot of changes there, but we had to discuss uh, and go over. Right, here's Ray. Hey, Ray. Hey, Ray, how are you? Greetings, greetings to everybody. All right, so Ray, we were just uh, started, with, there was no one for general public comment. We were just going on to discussing the finalizing the MOU. And when Ray Daigle was here, um, I think the, um, document that we have now is fairly comprehensive and, and I think is inclusive of what we want, but there was the uh, question of the parking lot. And I think a few of you guys, I'm not sure whether it's John, you and Cheryl and we're going to um, work on some pricing for that um, because we wanted to present that uh, in that as well. Is any one recall that or have been doing anything on that? Well, um, because of this, because of the changes um, and the um, the design, the parking lot um, and the, uh, the water garden slash whatever you want to call it, um, we don't really have any exact pricing yet. So I'm shooting for this Friday for a meeting uh, for Ray and myself with um, Howland, Becky and the Schultzes. Uh, at this point, I don't know whether it's going to be first thing in the morning or last thing in the day. That's, that's what Howland had suggested. So that's the only times he's available. <clears throat> So at any rate, I will nail that down. And then after that, hopefully we'll be able to um, figure out how much, you know, we're gonna have to put up for that. All right, well, so that, but that project there that you're talking about, that's the, um, I'm gonna call it the drainage project. Um, right. Right, but the parking lot, isn't that, a, that's a separate issue, right? I mean, yeah, just that's the parking that's, lot itself. I mean, the, right, the pavement. Right. That's all I'm talking about. Right, right. Um, no, and, and we don't have anything, anything on that. Sherilyn, I believe Sherilyn was going to dig dig into that, right, Ray? Yeah, I gave her. Uh, I gave her some numbers. Uh, I think last month, uh, and I, I I do need to update it because I, I think there's a little bit of overlap. Between the drainage 
the work that they're going to pay and um, the work that has to come out of the town pocket. And uh, I, I will definitely, uh, I'll, I'll definitely get get that done here within the next within the next week. Here, I just got to look at the quantities and uh, and uh, just put some numbers on it. it. It won't take me too long. I just got to sit down and do it. Yeah, that's fine. And just as long as we're working on it, and you know, we have, you know, by the end of the month, uh, an idea of what it may be, so we can put something together for the the Harwood uh, Unified Board. Yeah, I will. I will get that done by the end of the month and get it out. Uh, thank you. Any other questions on that from anyone? Um, Kelly or Don, any questions on that? No. All right. I'm good. So let's go ahead and move on. Um, so last meeting we um, discussed and, and we decided that we would meet uh, at our first meeting in June, uh, and that's June 7th, uh, in person, uh, and certainly uh, based on, you know, what the, the, the guidelines, the new guidelines that are coming out, I feel like they're uh, certainly safer than uh, we were two weeks ago, based on what the governor was saying. So, um, are there any, I know we've had success here with the Zoom meetings, and I think a lot of people have been able to attend them. Um, but I don't think that we need to go forward with them. Um, you know, my anticipation is that both Orca and um, the Mad River Valley uh, TV will be covering it, just like it had been in the past. Um, and we can set the meeting room up and we can space each other out at least three people three feet apart and we may need to limit the number of people that come in at a time, but what's everyone's thought? Um, I guess I could go first, right? Yeah, go ahead. Um, yep, go ahead, Don. Um, I was thinking similar to what you just mentioned is that, that uh, we could, you know, uh, space out as much as feasible in the room. And also maybe just for as people come to the meeting, maybe, you know, limit the amount of people who are in the meeting. And uh, since we're moving into June, we could probably have a couple of windows open that might, you know, just help with the circulation of the air, I suppose. And then it's just a matter of, of questioning whether we wear our masks or we don't. If everybody's vaccinated and from what the CDC has been saying and Scott, I think we should be able to go ahead. Thanks. Yeah, I think the window's open. Um, even people, if they're, they want to listen, um, they can sit out front with the windows open um, as well. Ray, what's your thoughts? I would like very much to see us uh, go back to a public meeting uh, in, at the, at the uh, town office. And uh, yeah, I'm willing to work with, with the rest of the board to, to make it happen. Uh, Callie, do you have any thoughts? I'm I'm perfectly fine being in person with everything. The only thing, even though the CDC guidance has changed, we would technically all still have to wear our masks because we still have our town ordinance in place. Yep. John? Yep. Uh, that it's fine with me, and uh, because I agree with Callie on on the mask, as long as we have the ordinance, we still have to do that. All right, and that's and you know that's something we can um, discuss then. Whether that's something we want, or we can even tonight. Is there any discussion on the ordinance? I mean, I think sooner rather than later, it's going to be a discussion anyway, the way things are going in the state. I mean, being the fact that we're first in the nation with vaccine rates, more and more people are getting vaccinated at this point or have been. So, and looking with the governor's projected date of having them be recommended by July 4. I mean, if we, we should discuss it at some point in June if we don't do it tonight. Yeah, you know, I think we should make it an agenda item. There may be other people in the community who may want to um, 
have input on it. So, Sasha, if we could have that on that June 7th meeting, have that um, probably our first item to, to address. But that, thank you, Kelly, for bringing that up. Um, so, all right, and we'll make sure that um, I think the next day after the meeting, we should have it cleaned. Uh, so, Kelly, I'm Sasha, if you could um, arrange for that to make sure that um, the cleaner comes through um, in the morning. Um, and of course, we limit ourselves to the uh, public side anyways. So no, I think it will be, it'll certainly be a pleasure for me to get off the, the uh, virtual meetings, although I think we've done a good job with them. It's going to be nice to, to see everyone. Sasha, did you have any thoughts? I know you're going to be there as well. Uh, I know you and I had talked, um, but is there anything that you wanted to share with the board on it or any opinion on that? I won't be fully vaccinated by them. Great. So you'll be good. Good. All right. So we'll go ahead and uh, unless we hear uh, something different between now and then and there's some huge outbreaks and, or if we're sick and certainly if anyone is feeling um, not well, uh, um, any of the things of those 14 questions you've asked, wherever you go, any of that, don't come to the meeting. Um, but I look forward to seeing everyone there. So uh, Sasha, why don't you go ahead and um, we have some reports at all. All I have is um, there was an email from Martin going back and forth with Jeff Newton. And I didn't know if everybody had seen that. And if Is that can... with the, um, the sand bid? Yep. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. We have the sand bid, we have a greater repair, and we have a compactor um, for the, uh, the town garage that we need to discuss. We'll, just, we'll do that at town uh, old, old business since we get to okay. that, which will fairly soon, I think. Okay. So nothing else from you? Uh, nope. I sent out a copy of the personnel policy to everybody and Ray had asked a question on it. The only thing that changed was the insurance numbers. Okay. That's it. Very good. Uh, Callie, got anything for us tonight? I don't. It's like you're sitting there in the sunshine enjoying yourself. The sun is in the right spot on the back deck. <laughs> <laughs> what about how are the bugs over there the black uh, flies i haven't seen any yet oh my god they're usually about... get them really bad because we have a pond so we get bugs our bugs are awful but yeah god the black flies here are terrible but... john can you save us from black flies no i'm good i got i got nothing Nothing done. All right. How about you, John? Uh, no, just uh, what I mentioned before and trying to get this meeting up and going. That's it. <clears> hey. <throat> Ray, anything from you? Uh, let's see. The only uh, thing I was going to talk about again, and I don't know, we talked about it at the last meeting a little bit, um, uh, regarding... Um, uh, Jeff Ledoux and his the road that goes up past him uh, to his camp to, by a -Bears. Um so the town brought um, roughly six yards of stone up there which is two uh, one ton loads and um, Jeff would like one more one ton load and when I talked with Martin about it he felt that he had um, complied with the town policy, road policy on what we have done for that. And uh, so I talked a little bit further with Jeff about it and uh, I needed to actually talk to John Ogilboom a little bit about it. Are you, are you still on there, John? I think you're still there. You went blank here yep, on my I'm screen. Here. I'm here. So, uh, back in the, uh, back in uh, the early 2000s or mid 2000s. I don't think I was on the board, but I remember this happening. That 
there was a, quite a bit of discussion about uh, the, the location of the, the, the trail that goes by his camp to him and Abear and Paul Gillis. And um, uh, what Jeff remembers is that after we spent, or the town spent roughly you know, $1,500 or so trying to locate where the trail was, through Gillies, it, it couldn't be done. And so there was an agreement that we would just go with where it is and the town would give them a load of stone every year to kind of make things work all together. So, and he was at that time referring to a 14 yard load. Um, so um, I guess my question to you, John, is do you have any recollection of, of the town making that decision? And, and do you think uh, we should we should uh, continue with that? Um, well, I don't believe we had any um, agreement to give them a load every year. Okay. Um, the last now this would be the same same trail where um, we had the sign there that immediately got torn down. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, no, I. I believe that um, we did make an agreement to give him some stone at that point, and I, I thought that uh, when you were on the board, because you were on the board when that sign came down, right? Well, I, I, I that I've not. I can remember the whole incident. I, I might have been near the end when I was on the board or something. I know, I remember looking at the area and, and trying to, to determine where the trail was and it did look like the trail got moved over at some point. Right. But, and I remember the sign going up, but uh, I just really could not remember an agreement about the stone. No, as far as I know, there's, there's no agreement. Uh, I mean, we could, I, I, we could certainly check back in the minutes and see, um, but I don't, I don't recall that. Yeah, um, I mean, I, I'm kind of mixed feeling on this. I, I feel like, you know, if we did make an agreement, we could comply, but uh, we do have a, a policy. Uh, we all know that we want to. Uh, enforce or do the policy with equal treatment to everybody. So uh, right. I'm not sure what we should do at this point. Uh, you know, I, I don't want to be fair, but you know, we have to make our decision. I don't know how the rest of the board feels about it. You know, maybe yes. we should check with Cheryl on that. Well, that would be a good idea. Yeah. Cheryl might know something. Yep. So is that something you want me to take a check on, Ray, or do you want to, or? Uh, you know, uh, if you could check on it, John, that would be, give me kind of out of the middle here a little bit. Okay. I mean, if nothing else, she might, she probably could steer us toward where, you know, the minutes might be. I mean, you know, where, which minutes she's pretty good with, with chronology. I'm not as good with that. <clears throat> I know we have given him some, some stone here in the past. I don't know whether it was per some agreement, but certainly since I've been on the board, there's been probably a two, two to three times where we've given him some stoning, including this time. So, um, so John, if you could check with Cheryl, she may know yeah. something about it. Okay, I will do that. Okay, sounds good. That's all I have. All right. Um, so we have uh, the meeting minutes from uh, June, or pardon me, June, May 3rd uh, to approve. I make a motion to accept the minutes of May 3rd. All right, is there a second? Second. All right, thanks, Kelly. Um, 
If there's no discussion, all in favor of the minutes, Lord I. Aye. 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 All right, thanks. All right, so that gets us uh, right along here, uh, old business. So let's go ahead and start with um, the town garage. So first off, why don't we, um, we have the sand bids. Um, and if you all recall, uh, Newton uh, had the low bid. Um, Sasha, I don't have those in front of me, but you. Either way, it was significantly lower. Um, and the question was um, whether it was a two year contract or not. Um, and so the answer is it was not bid as a two year um, bid. So when, when uh, Jeff Newton put it in, he was anticipating a one year contract, just like everyone else. However, going back to him, he is willing uh, to um, make it a two year contract. Uh, so that's something I think the board um, should seriously consider. I think it's a good idea. Um, and I don't think it's putting any of the other vendors out at all. We were all looking, everyone was looking at a one year contract. Um, Newton got the low and as a good business, we asked to extend that and uh, they're willing to. Um, so if we could uh, get a little comment, maybe uh, Ray, not from you uh, because you do work there, but uh, everyone else, please. John? I think it's fine. I, I mean, oh. go ahead, John, sorry. Okay. I, I do have mixed feelings. Um, I mean, certainly his price was quite a bit lower and I would sincerely doubt that any of the others that bid on it would have come down to his price if we locked in for two years. Um, but, you know, once again, everybody was bidding on just the one year and now we're awarding the contract to Newton and then saying, and he said, well, you know, we're asking if he can hold that for two years. But uh, I also, you know, agree with you, Tom, that it's probably not going to change. They may come down a little bit, but certainly not to the price that Newton had. Yeah, no, I don't think it's bad business by um, seeking out, you know, an additional after it was a fair bid through one and, and extending, but... Um, and I understand that's what you said too, but uh, Don, what did you have for comments? Well, I agree with the, what both of you were saying and the only thing we could do a little bit differently if we wanted to, you know, keep it a fair, uh, even playing field, so to speak, is reach out to the two other companies in an email and saying, you know, uh, what would your bid be if it was a two year contract and just to give them the opportunity so that three years from now, they don't just say, oh, we're not going to bid more town. They didn't really, you know, that type of thing. Kelly, what do you think? I mean, I'm fine with it being a two-year contract. I do kind of like Don's idea and just reaching out to them. I mean, I they're not probably going to be able to meet that price anyway. But just in the idea of giving everyone that same playing field, but that also does kind of put us out in this process a little bit as well. So, yeah, you know, if everyone's feeling like it's, you know, again, like I said, we need to have valid uh, people bidding on our stuff. And, you know, I'm sure next year we will send it out and it might cost us a little bit more, but, you know, maybe we, we don't uh, annoy anyone. So probably it would be worth it that way. So maybe we should just go ahead with a one year contract, award that, and then, uh, you know, throw it up again next year. And then if it's something that we want to do next year and want to look at that two-year contract, then exactly. throw it in, throw it in the information. Yeah, no, we'll just make, exactly. In the, uh, um, the bid, we'll just ask for one and a two-year contract price. That way it's 
clean, it's clear, and no one's uh, no one feels put out. How's that sound for everyone? Yeah, that so sounds good. That sounds good. Yes. Yeah. I think, I think <laughs> we save save five dollars, but. Tom, you're all gargled. You're, you're all gargled again. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, if you, oh, there we Tom, go. You, I would move to accept uh, the Newton contract uh, that we received uh, at our last meeting for the one year contract. Second. Is there any other discussion on that? <coughs> Excuse me. If none, all in favor of an aye. 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 All right. Thank you all. And I have to say. Yeah, I thought you probably did. Um, so now, why don't we talk about the, um, the compactor? So I'll just bring you up to date real quick. I knew there. I know there was an email out there. Um, last fall, Martin applied for a grant. There was uh, several different things we could apply for or that were in the grant. A compactor was one of the um, pieces of equipment. And that piece of equipment, when they're in ditches and whatever, it compacts things. And so we've got a grant for that. But the machine that they are looking at, and they did go out to bid, there were three different bids. Um, is it about $650 more than what the grant was for? Uh, and the reason uh, they were looking at a higher end one that has reverse, uh, which I hear is very um, nice to have when you're in a hole and you can't kind of jimmy around or turn around. So I, I told Martin, I thought it was a good idea. I recommended that we go ahead and, bu and buy that, but I just wanted to make sure um, that the board approved as well and the money would come out of the budget that we uh, currently have. That sound all right? Yeah, definitely. I would I would make that motion if you need a motion to, to get the reversible compactor. All right, thank you, Ray. Is there a second on that? Second. Thank you, Kelly. All in favor, vote aye. 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 Right. Thank you all. All right, so the next item, um, and this was something that I think came later today in the mail, um, but it was on the uh, grader. And if you recall, we had a breakdown a month or so, six weeks ago, and it was a um, wire that had been rubbed bare. And the suggestion at that time was to put a new wire harness in. Um, so the estimates come back, I believe it was 2,800, is that? Right, you have that in front of you. I think it was that, yeah, I think 20, 25 or 28, something like that. Yeah, uh, 2800 parts and labor us to install the harness on site in Moortown. That is really good. Um, so yeah, I think, I mean, we have that again in the, in the budget, but as uh, I think last time we would we had asked that just to make uh, us aware of those repairs, so. I think we should probably go ahead and get that done, Ray. What do you think? You're the machine guy. Yeah, I would. Uh, I would rather fix it now than have it break down in the middle of a grading uh, operation, in the you know middle of the day or at the end of the day or whatever. So I I want to make a motion that we move forward with the with the grader repair work for the estimate of twenty eight hundred dollars and change, whatever it was, twenty eight sixty, whatever. It was twenty eight hundred uh, flat. Yep. $2,800. I make the motion we go forward with the repairs, not to exceed $2,800. No second. Thanks, John. Um, all right, unless there's any discussion, all in favor of the motion, vote aye. 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 Thank aye. you. All right, Ray, have you got anything else from um, the town garage? No, I have not heard back from the survey people about putting the uh, property pins in, but I, I, I can't tell you if it's done or not. But I, I don't, I don't know. I haven't seen an invoice either. But uh, that's the only other thing that we had going on. All right. Um. All right.
right, for other old business pending, it's not down the list, but we had um, talked about having a, a walk uh, or site visit up on Freeman Hill uh, for that trail. And I, I don't think it's a good idea in our first June meeting, but possibly the second meeting on the um, 23rd, uh, pardon me, 21st, uh, 21st, um, that we have a site visit uh, at Freeman Hill. I think it was legal 15 um, to kind of take a look at that, get a little more of the background um, because we may have some survey work um, to think about there. Is everyone good with that? Sounds good. good. Would that be like at 530 or something before the meeting or? Yeah, probably go up at five, Don. So we're there. Oh, five, yeah. Yeah, take a little time, and so we have time to get back to the office. Um, yep. And we could go up and would be um, just to take a quick look and and uh, see what's going on there. And then we can, I think um, there's a few things I know uh, possibly with that road that you were talking about, although you guys said that Gillis said you couldn't find that road, Ray. Jess Road, yeah. So, um, but that's something we may want to be thinking about in the future. Some of these uh, lost roads or, or uh, trails. Um, we have one right now that we're still finishing. Uh, now that uh, COVID restrictions are uh, letting up, hopefully we can uh, get that taken care of on the other side of the mountain. So, all right. Uh, moving on, we get uh, old business. Um, couple little things. Our next meeting, and Don, I know you're kind of doing this. We're going to have um, your group here uh, giving a presentation. Is that correct? I know, I know it's yep. correct to have asked yeah. on the agenda. Yeah. So, um, yeah. We're going to, we're preparing a little presentation on the town hall, but we'll, you know, we'll keep the, and maybe it'll be two or three people from the, from the working committee. Yeah. <clears throat> So yeah, we'll make sure the time. Yeah, no, I think we all want to hear. Um, just make sure as you're if you're having any meetings, they need to be um, complying to the Vermont open meeting laws. So that means getting Sasha, um, you know, I think it's at least five days prior, unless it's an emergency meeting, an agenda. Okay. Of what you're gonna okay. do so it can be posted. And then within mm -hmm number of business days, um, some minutes so that she can have those posted. Pardon me, my cat's getting nuts here. Um, but otherwise, we look forward to seeing what you guys have put together. Great. We're looking Great. forward to it as well. Um, Stefan, I see you're still around. Um, do you have anything that you want to share with us on dog catching business or anything? Or fire department? Uh, no, I'm all set. I'm just listening in. All right. Um, I don't see anything else in old business that we have that's pending. Um, road closures, I think, uh, Ray, you and Callie are still working on some things. So let's go ahead. And, is there any new business that anyone has they want to bring up tonight? Don? No, I'm good. I'm good. All right, the only other thing, um, tomorrow I'm going to be on a, a conference call. I know Cheryl Lynn is as well, uh, and it's something that BLCT is putting on. It's on the American Recovery uh, Program or Act, um, so we'll learn a little bit more how the state's going to distribute that money. Um, and again, I think we're um, in for a fairly large sum of money, but... Um, We'll see what the state has to say about that. But based on federal guidelines, I think uh, we'll all have an opportunity to, to get some of that. Um, so we'll report back on that. But that's Tom, all I... Excuse uh, me. Yeah. Yep. Tom, excuse me. What time is that? I did see that come through, and uh, I was thinking of joining that as well. You know what time? I have a meeting at 1. I wasn't sure. Yeah, what it's, time in, that it's is. actually... In the, it is in the afternoon. It's at one thirty. Says my uh, calendar. Okay. Oh, my yeah, one thirty. 
I'll just make sure. But if it's any there, I I can send you the, the link to it. Yeah, that'd be yeah. great. Maybe I can do, do my meeting and then join in or something. Okay. All right. Um, and so that's, uh, I know another thing that actually has come up, Sherilyn has said that she's had um, people, uh, and I can't, I can't recall the person who came in, but, uh, and Don, I think it may be someone that was working on your, your committee, but was looking to get our um, town DIN number for, to apply for some grants. And I think we've all talked about this. We need to be very clear that Sherilyn is the, the um, uh, person who handles all the grants. We'll take all the mm -hmm. information yeah. and all the input we can on them, but people can't go out on their own and start applying for town grants. Oh, no one was doing that. We were just doing a little investigative work about a grant that might be available. That's all. All right. That, you know, and, that, and then if it comes, if it comes to be for sure, we would go through the right process. You know, we do work with Cheryl Lynn. Yep, perfect. Just so that, um, yeah. it's, it's, there are a lot more. Actually, the easy part is getting them. And we know how difficult that is, um, following up and making sure we're uh, doing all the right things. And so if audits come out, it is even more difficult than getting it. So I appreciate everyone's help in this. Um, I think that's all I have. So if anyone, does not object we'll adjourn, adjourn tonight fairly early um unless there's anything new or something anyone would like to bring up discuss or whatever the only thing i think we may want to think about at some point in time sasha sent out the vlct piece about atvs on the road and a lot of it relates back to there was a lot of confusion with what can actually be on the road, different levels of roads. So it kind of streamlines the process for what can be on the roads, what type of road they can be on. But I believe it would be something we'd have to have more of a warned meeting about so that people knew we were talking about it and if we wanted to make any changes or what we wanted to state on that. That's a, something, Callie, maybe you and Ray, as you're putting your thoughts together with uh, the road closure thing, you can kind of incorporate that in and say, look, at now these vehicles here are permitted. These are not permitted. We can permit these and we can do things. So, um, you know, perhaps in your, your, discussions or, or thoughts or presentation you can think a little bit about that not that you have to do all the heavy lifting and do it well at all but uh you know bring some some discussion points and uh, maybe some solutions or, or ideas maybe how that might fit into the problems that we do have on the roads sounds good yeah so you yeah, can bring totally things up and get work <laughs> What was that, Don? I didn't say anything, no. Oh, I thought you um, made a comment. All right, so um, we we'll look forward to hearing some, about some of that stuff as well. I know in some towns they've um, allowed them on the streets and it's been an economic boom. And then other places, it's been a nightmare for them. So uh, you know, I think there's a lot to think about when we're, when we're looking at those type of things. So, all right, I move to adjourn. Second. Second. All right. All in favor, vote aye. 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 Thank you, everyone. I hope everyone has a nice evening. Enjoy the weather. Okay. Same to you all.